and I'm here in Lanzarote just in this moment and I came from Poland um, in order to present material from my debut album Dreamscapes and yesterday I played it at the festival uh, Musica Visuals in the cave and that was an experience How, when do you start with the loops and you to use electronic uh, hardware? So, um, I am classically trained cellist, of course, obviously, um, and for most of my life I thought I, I want to play in orchestra, and I did so. I played in orchestra, but at some point I felt like I'm, I'm hungry for something more, for something personal, for something um, just coming from myself. And maybe some of you know that my friend is Hania, Hania Rani, um, and with her, years ago, we created this little project in which I was playing her arrangements, but it was still more personal than um, classical music. So I, I had that, you know, feeling that it's possible to create something like that. And she was like the, you know, the direction, the person with whom I was doing more um, open-minded projects and yeah then somehow we we realized that we want to try to do something um, together again and then we created inner symphonies and after success of inner symphonies finally I found um, strength and maybe courage to to, to finally um, find my my own my solo way and then I started composing pieces uh, for cello. And then uh, when I realized like, okay, I composed them, but how do I perform them? Because you know, cello, when you have this instrument, you can play only one line in the one moment. It's not like on the piano, on the piano you can play actually the, the, the entire uh, consonance. And uh, on the cello you can play only one melody. 
So then I first I started playing with my friends, like three or four cellists, but it was pretty complicated because, you know, traveling with four cellos, ooh, that was a logical, you know, challenge uh, to organize it, of course. Um, so then I thought, okay, why not loop station? And this is how it happened. This is how it started. I bought Loop Station and, and I started um, experiencing it, um, discovering possibilities of that. And I, I have to admit that I fell in love. On the, on the start, it was a bit, uh, you know, complicated, like every device you have to learn from the scratch. But then with the time I, I started feeling super free with that and it gave me so much space to explore and um, find new ways. Okay. Do you know something about the inner dance? Inner dance? Yes. You, you mean like dancing? It's inner is like a technical, so do you feel like the, the cosmic connection? Okay. So when I, I saw also we have the work together, what's called inner... A symphonies. Inner mm -hmm. symphonies. Mm -hmm. And I remember, oh, this can be nice to, uh, to inner dance too. It's a, <laughs> please check about, it's very, okay, very okay. interesting because it's a, like a cosmic connection by music. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, I think we, we have cosmic connection, yeah. <laughs> both of us. Okay. <laughs> So, and how do you feel yesterday in the work and if you, do you be a little bit scared or...? <laughs> or? In this video you can realize that I'm a bit afraid person <laughs> from the beginning. But you know, this is pushing yourself from your comfort zone. I also realized that yesterday. Because I'm uh, a bit afraid of being in a, you know, like tight, small places without windows. I usually feel like I can't breathe then. And uh, you can't imagine if you weren't there, but this cave is like, I don't know how many meters down, but we were walking like at least 10, 15 minutes, like but with labyrinth, you, yes. you know, and there was no end of it. And it was just more dark and more incredible. And I felt like I was traveling uh, to Mars. Uh, <laughs> I listened to that. So, of course, at the beginning, I was like, oh, what's happening, where I am? But then, again, um, with being, like, time, with, with being there, I just, I just felt like, wow, just open for it, experience it, it will be great, it will be something you will never forget. And so it was, and I'm sure I will never forget it. It was incredible, and I... Um, I lack words, you know, you, you just have to be there, you have to see it, you have to smell it, you have to feel it on your skin and experience being on another planet, you know, it's just being in completely different surrounding than normally and then you have to play the concert there, so imagine how unique experience that was. I think not only for me, also for my team and also for uh, public. You will see how is this island is like a moon, not like a <laughs> Mars, but you will see how beautiful is this island. So uh, how was the sound in the volcanic tube for you? So uh, when I played uh, first notes without amplification, um, before we started doing sound check with microphones and everything, sound was um, Actually, I was surprised because I thought it's going to be very uh, short. But there was a bit of reverb, like natural re reverb. And also, uh, it was quite humid there. So I think my cello, like instrument which is made from the wood, was reacting very nicely. So she, I say it uh, for my cello, uh, she, she's she. <laughs> the cello is she. Uh -huh. uh, she reacted very well. And then, of course, when we put microphones and we started um, amplifying that, uh, we made, you know, like artificial reverb, of course. And I think it sounded beautiful. I don't know, you were listening, so you can say something. But I think it was just, it was great. <laughs>
Thank you. I, I love Lanzarote. It's very, yeah, like if you haven't been here, you have to come because you have to see it. I never see anything like that. And mm. I was traveling quite a lot in my life. This is another planet. Yeah. <laughs> Next time, I hope I can make some picture in this island with your yeah. cello. What is the name of your cello? Um, so sometimes I, I make a joke that she's like an extension of myself. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank very you. Much. Thank you. So you are working on a new project, or you have some idea to? Yeah, of yes. course. Can you tell me something? So I just uh, told you that I released uh, AP. Uh, it's called Biodiversity, and of course it touches the topic of uh, nature, of um, climate catastrophe, but also in a not 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 bad way. I I, I try to speak about you know like the the beauty and power of nature in this music. I, I focus rather on that. Anyway, you can listen to it already everywhere on every platform. It's called Biodiversity. And of course, I'm starting to think about new album and I gather ideas and I want to try some new solutions. So uh, follow. <laughs> uh, Lanzarote can be a good place to, for inspiration for you. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Can I give you a present for a lovely pirate? Yeah, thank you. For your phone. Thank, thank you so much for your time and enjoy, Muchas gracias. enjoy the island. <laughs>